I often feel uncomfortable about talking about my own work. Uh, it's, it's like uh, making a confession. The only problem is when you do it in front of more than 10 people, you tend to just talk about a good part. <laughs> I do a lot of performances with, uh, sort of in a series and uh, uh, one of the reasons is uh, basically because uh, performance is very ephemeral and uh, there are things in it which I like to develop uh, further but uh, it's, it's still sort of uh, uh, there's a kind of incompleteness in all of them where there's no real beginning and there's no real ending to each one of them it's sort of a leading from one thing to the next and um, um, this piece is uh, the 13th one of this series called Journey of a Yellow Man and I, I also do other uh, series like ghost stories and uh, I'm not a performance artist um, Although all of them has similar titles, uh, they are very different from one to the other. Uh, in Journey of a Yellow Man number three, I was doing it in Singapore where I worked on the floor with rice and chains for five days during the uh, hours of the gallery. And in the evening, about seven o'clock, I moved to outside the gallery garden to make a closing kind of performance. I just want to read something from uh, from that exhibition in 1993. For I was caught in the play of characters under the glimmer of moonlight, in yet another chaotic game of laughter and madness, as yet unspoken sounds, scenes of blissful circus, treat me like a stranger or else a traveler, this time to leave silly pride on that smelly floor. And you wake up tomorrow and wish you remembered yesterday. And you wake up tomorrow and thought why you left that day behind. Behind a different star, we have to name the light. What answers did we visage if we could afford trembling in war or in peace? The same place you got your artifacts from. When they told you you can have the moon and the stars, pictures of tomorrow flash before your eyes. Pictures of tomorrow fill my TV blind. Forget your sorrows, there's no reason to cry. For when all is said and done, you get born again for better days to come. I dream of climbing a ladder to the stars and saw a performance stage with fantastic lights, fireworks and magical sounds. But in my heart I know it was just another show put on by ju juvenile anarchies with arson on their minds. The beauty I long after turned out to be an ugly old hag. I had pursued a fake beauty, or was it in my own desire that I soon felt unable to continue and fell into melancholy? It was a betrayal of the quest. My friend suggested magic, but that too did not succeed. Another one was a doctor and asked if I'll try group sex, but I declined, citing morality. Morality? What is my morality? What is my morality? What is my morality? Um, just some of the questions that I've been asking all the time, and I think I tend to come up with more questions than answers. Actually, I don't like to work around uh, symbolic representation, but of course I contradict myself. Um, I mean, I think that colors is everywhere, and uh, it's just another re misrepresentation that I'm dealing with. Uh, of course, the, on a personal level, I'm a Chinese born outside of China, and I've never been to China as well. But I'm often dis uh, mis mistaken for being Chinese. Um, but at the same time, nobody is as yellow as this. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I've been doing this for, like, the first performance was in but I haven't done this for the last two years and um, I kept getting the same question about why don't I try a different colour? <laughs> and of course, um, I'm not just responding to that question but uh, I, I often negate myself in my work as well uh, just to see what happens uh, because
because uh, like uh, in, 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 in like what Hegel say tearing with the negative you get on to something else you know and uh, this is something that I like to try as well <laughs> in this performance it, it has sort of started with uh, working very closely with the gallery staff but then I start to think that uh, I want to make a sort of a looser, open, kind of more spontaneous work. So I was at a conference with the heart uh, painted black. Uh, and I'm not sure if anyone documented that, but I think sometimes I feel that it's not so necessary to worry so much about documentation because the performance is never properly documented, no matter how hard you try. Um, and the end part of that was in sort of, uh, uh, it kind of surprised me as well. I think I was looking for some way to uh, sort of end the performance, maybe last night, maybe another day, but I wasn't sure if I could uh, find the right situation for it. And I found it last night at Dadang's performance. I haven't spoken to him yet before or after the performance, so I don't know how he feels about that. But I think this is a, a very real situation in, in performance that I like to bring up again and again. And um, when I watch what the proceedings of what has been happening here, um, there has been a lot of very celebratory kind of uh, atmosphere. And I feel that in terms of art making, there's a lot to do with real life situation and the very uh, serious situation that's happening to East Timor has been uh, at the back of my mind all this time and I, I felt that it was necessary to bring it forward some, at some point in this